Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, and welcome to another Fabric Mod Overview. This time on Fabric Server Essentials, a mod that adds a bunch of different commands, as well as a bunch of other settings you can tweak. But you can tweak this from the actual sort of, I guess, client configs, besides just these server ones, but since I don't have a server one, I'm going to be showing them in my sort of client instance here. Uh, there's also teleporting and other sort of things you can tweak, chat formatting, and a bunch of other things that will come in the future. So we'll look at each one and see. So you've got the spawn command, which is just a teleport to a spawn point you've set up. And obviously gives you chat feedback according to that. You can change the spawn point. We go to set spawn. Like this one, and remove that part there. And this will be the new place that we teleport to. And if we go to slash spawn again, it will teleport us in three seconds, and we'll be transported to there because that's the newly set spawn. Uh, this should be, I'm pretty sure, the world spawn equivalent though, but just for the mod. Um, you've got slash home or set home to have it where each player can set their own home location with the command and then teleport to that place. So if we want to say set up our home, say here for example, we go slash home slash set home. Yep, so we'll set this as our home. Now we've done that, and then we'll go slash home, and that'll teleport us in a few seconds. There we go. Instead of to the world spawn that we've set up. You can go slash warp, create warp, or delete warp to have it so that you can create and remove warps using the following and anyone can warp to these locations. I don't know if this will work across dimensions though, so we'll actually see how that does, unless it is dimensional focused, so we'll actually see about that. Um, we'll also try the other commands and see if that also works across dimensions as well. So, just get a portal set up here. And we'll go in. We'll just try the other commands first before doing anything else. So we'll do that and we'll teleport in a few seconds. As teleported us to the equivalent of it in the dimension. Good to know. So technically, no, it won't. Now we'll go slash spawn. And I'm assuming the same thing will happen that way as well. And the equivalent to it in the nether. Good to know. Um, so we'll do slash warp, because there's nothing there. So we'll just go to a specific location. So we'll say here in the nether, because why not while we're here. And we'll just put an obsidian pillar here. So we'll go slash create warp. And I don't know what I'm missing. What am I doing wrong? Slash create warp. And use a warp to a target. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be other players, not um, block spaces, which is probably more likely. Um, it doesn't say anything else. It's like you need some other thing to determine it. So yeah. I'm assuming this would work for other players instead. So it's your player teleport command. Um, which is probably why I can't set it up. Uh, otherwise though, if you want to, you can use the following here, which is more for teleport requests rather than possibly just a direct teleporting. Um, actually, we'll try... Ah, uh, okay, that's why. That's probably why. Okay, we'll try this then. So, obsidian, and then... Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. So not players, because it's the other ones for requests of that. So I actually do this more properly and warp to it. Uh, the obsidian one that's listed. And then we've now teleported to that. So any landmarks that we have or structures, we can do that. Uh, we'll actually create another one and see what list we have. Stem, then we'll go to that, and that will also enable stem. And we'll go remove 
and, uh, delete, sorry. And we've got the two listed, and we can delete that because we don't need it. And all the obsidian is left, which we'll keep just in case. Now we obviously have the player specific one. So obviously since I'm in single player, I can't demonstrate this. But either way, we'll see what happens when doing it in such a situation. So accept and deny are available. Just the generic as well is there. And I can't teleport to this player because it's just myself. If I did it with any others, I don't think it will work anyways. And nothing. So it has to have a player. You can do this with, and you can accept or deny the request of being teleported to. You also have one for the workbench. So we'll just do slash workbench. We can access a crafting table portably. And we can then obviously put, say, some jungle wood in here. Oops, wrong one. Uh, we'll just get, say, some cobble for a furnace. Nope, okay. So we'll try again. Uh, let's see. Oops, I'll try a log that's more proper. Now, I'm pretty sure this should work regardless, because you don't technically need a crafting table in the location for it to work, I'd assume. Nope, it just doesn't want to do it then for some reason. Or do we have to have it acknowledge that we've interacted with the crafting table prior to this? No. Okay, I'm not going to have a lesson learning type approach either for it, are we? Um, oops, let's see, nothing. Interesting, okay, might still be a work in progress, or I'm just doing it wrong. That's also possible. Um, otherwise there is the ender chest one, which I do know works, so slash ender chest. And, as you can see there, now I did try doing this without an ender chest even placed in the world or anything in the inventory, and it does still work, so you can generate this, put stuff in, and it'll work fine. So, yeah. There's also slash reload, reloading the settings, so I'm assuming that's more so the settings in the config, not for resetting the world settings, um, or any changes like that. So there's anything here from permission levels, Warp permission level, and otherwise, I'm assuming these are operator permission levels. Um, Sinks at any of those, like so. Teleport ticks, which is obviously the three seconds, because that's um, three seconds to the 60 ticks. There's the data of other sorts from our locations, our warp locations, ignoring map and damage, map of sorts. Um, uh, other than that, that's probably it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.